could feel the blade cutting. I really thought I was going to die. They say it's tradition. Which type of tradition? I am an activist because I was mutilated at the age of five. I'm an NFGM campaigner. I'm a journalist and an activist. What I go through, I don't want any girls to go through it. This practice must stop. In a campaign for 10 years now, TV, radio, I didn't know how to use them. I used to knock doors talking to people and my work was never recognized. But now I can say I'm very confident. I've amplified my work through social media, Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook. I've seen a lot of changes in my community since I've begun engaging the religious leaders. Muslim leaders have delinked the Islamic religion from female genital mutilation, saying the act is sinful. The circumcision of women is not allowed in Islam. Bishop himself has just told us that FGM is not his religion, and that is something that we embrace so much. I must say it's been a revolutionary journey of discovery for me, as I've learned so much about the media and I've been exposed to the digital world. So far, I've appeared in more than 10 TV stations and radio stations in Nigeria, reaching 150 million people. I can hear loud and clear, Saudi Assalamu alaikum. Our main focus here is to the link, to show how this is not linked with Islam. Many people are getting the message clearly. Using the media to end FGM is really, really, really very important. It is working, it is working well. People are now changing their perception. This is definitely as a result of the media campaigns on the ground and with sustained media messaging, we will be able to achieve our abandonment goal. Five steps to becoming a media campaigner. Step one, get a smartphone to connect with other activists and set up a WhatsApp group to make your media plans. Step 2. Agree a list of important people who support your message that you want to get on radio and TV. These are influencers. It could be a religious leader, a doctor, a midwife, a village elder, a chief. They are people the community respects. Step 3. Apply for funding to the global media campaign to buy airtime. We call this a direct action media grant. Step 4. Call your local TV and radio stations. Tell them you have funds to get Dr. X or Imam Y on air. Now call the influencers and connect them with the broadcaster. Step 5. As their broadcast message reaches the community, record the transmission on your phone. Finally, 
Share widely on social media. For more help on how to report on the numbers reached by your broadcast, on measuring the impact of your work, and carrying out correct financial reporting, go to our Media Academy on Facebook. Hi everyone, I'm Naima Hassan, I'm GMC's Programme Director and we've been running media campaigns for the past seven years. I know firsthand the challenges campaigners face, especially if you're not familiar with how media works. During a pandemic like COVID-19, NDFGM efforts are needed now more than ever. I will be leading GMC's team that will support your work. So here are five key takeaways from today's webinar. Number one, WhatsApp is the most crucial tool to support your work. It allows you to get together with other campaigners and to organise media strategies. Number two, agree on the list of influencers that you want to broadcast on radio and TV. This varies from country to country. In Somalia, for example, it's religious leaders, whereas in Sierra Leone, it's the Paramount Chiefs. You decide, you're in charge, you know who your community are listening to, respect and trust. But you have to check out their credentials because it's not about the message, the messengers are equally important. Number three, get your facts right. Make sure you have the right information, be honest. On the Virtual Media Academy Facebook group, you will find cheat sheets, videos, and links from UNFPA and others to support your work. Number four, use the right channel to communicate your work. Each community responds to messages differently. For remote areas, radios work best, whereas for young people, social media is best. Follow your country-specific guidelines to COVID-19. GMC will be hosting weekly webinars teaching you how to use social media, as well as how to get in touch and engage with broadcasters. Number five, it's important to know if your work is making a difference. Measure your impact. These cheat sheets will show you how. And if what you're doing isn't working, Try a different approach. Contact your fellow campaigners and seek their advice, especially from those working in similar contexts. So join the Facebook group to find out how to apply for direct action grants. We are stronger together. Let's keep the fire burning. Protect our girls in this pandemic and beyond. Thank you.